that little bit of a grade leading out of this industry up to the main line. Got that one locomotive up there at the head. Although a lot of the uh, cars here on the industry track are empty. All the ones I would imagine most of them on the train are probably not. Probably not. Depending on where they are here. Schedule from where they're going. least go by. I can hear I can hear it working its way up the up the grade from North Greenville, heading towards Worley. the next car for this industry on it, heading to Spartanburg. If they get by, if they get to Spartanburg by 11 a.m. and checked in to where, to where they show up on this customer's uh, available for placement screen, there may be a couple of those coming in tonight. LX10182, that'd be a former Mondell Plastics that's owned by Lionel Bissell, same as Equistar basically. And oh, we got a gravity feed there. They just cut that car loose and are going to let it, let the gravity take back to the uh, other cars they've got set off on the main line. 
So the car behind that has material in it. So they'll put that on the track for this industry. They'll pull back on the main line and they'll push more empties back onto their uh, set of cars on the main line. It'll take a while. I probably won't still be reporting by the time they get to the next empties because it gets repetitive. <laughs> and it takes up a lot of uh, video. have a lot of safety checks so they'll so I say they just got to put that car on the track to this industry yeah they put it on the track to this industry and they got to walk around the car and get everything set and then they got to disconnect they got to look at their watch and make sure they've waited long enough since the last time they touched the car before they do the next thing and and I understand those rules are for safety but I'm just saying it doesn't make the greatest video a lot of downtime just uh waiting for things they have to wait for for safety reasons. So it looks like since there's three cars on there that have to come in that are that were um, at this industry to begin with that still are staying at this industry, he's probably going to walk down far enough they can set off all three and he, that means he's going to want the couplers to be in the straightaways so he may he may walk this down a good ways i suspect he'll put the the lead set of bogeys on that car will be in this curve but the coupler will still be in the straightaway i think the other two cars that this industry is keeping are sitting together so it's really only the two cuts other than getting the empties out and then they'll put the uh so there's cut of empty there was an empty then there's a full car well part has material remaining in then there's like two or three empties then there's like two cars that are remaining at the end street and then there's another empty and then after that is the cars they were bringing in for delivery today so if you look at it that way include the car including the cars they're bringing in for delivery today there's uh, three cuts of cars that are staying here, but there were one at the tail, and two, so two or three, and then another set. So three cuts of empties. Uh, two, three, yeah. Okay, so you saw he had to walk around the car, make sure that the brake wheels tied down good looks like he's walking slow to make sure his timer timing elapses before he uh, pulls the cut bar Once it gets to the pulling the cut bar and they start to pull forward, that's basically where this video started with the train pulling forward. So it's sort of lather, rinse, repeat at that point.
right, so that's kind of enough to give you the feel of what the action going on here is today. Bye for now.